Hello folks! I'll be the first to admit this is not a game, but it might be something even cooler. Now, what could that be? Well, it's Microsoft Word. Now I know you're going, how could Microsoft Word be cooler than a game? Well, I just kind of wanted to show off a neat feature that I discovered about the current version of Office 365, so you can uh, do this in PowerPoint as well, but Word's what I've got up. If you go to the Insert tab, you can now insert 3D models. So what does that mean? Well, I will grab one here. Let's load oh, a, uh, a lion. Let's load a lion and see what that does. Click insert and it's going to pull it in here. And it'll take a second to load or two. And bam, now I've got what looks like a picture in the middle of my document. Just like any normal picture in Word, I can scale it. I can drag it out to the side, but notice it doesn't stretch there and get wider. Um, it just changes the margins around it. So what makes this different than a picture? I can grab this orbit grip here and I can move it around and it is actually a 3D modeled object within the document. I can spin around and see any angle of it that I want to, which is pretty nifty. So all I'm having to do to do this is click and hold down the mouse and uh, it's some of the easiest 3D navigation actually that I've run across for, for what it's doing. Um, it's a static image then once I let go of it. So if I were to print the document right now, I would see this image on the page. But um, you know, if I decided I wanted to change it, then I could come back and, and do that and there you go. So that's cool enough on its own. The other cool thing is you do have some ability to, um, I guess crop's not the right word, pan and zoom is what they call it. I can grab the image here and zoom in to get a closer look at, say, his eyeball. I'll pan by grabbing, clicking and dragging, and you know, really zoom in on that eyeball there and see what that's all about. I'll make it a little bit smaller there. And so if I was, say, writing a document about I don't know how cool lion's eyeballs are. I could say, you know, have a caption next to it and say, hey, take a look at this. That's pretty neat. And I could move the picture, you know, to be next to it. Um, then, because this is an object and it's dynamic, I can actually copy it. I could paste another one down here and say, um, oh, but his feet are even cooler, and I could then adjust the model even more if I come back to my pan and zoom, and you know I could change the model to look just at his uh his toes there. I don't know why I would do this. This is a really strange example that I've chosen to give, but hey, I'm committed now, so we're doing it. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a pretty cool feature. There's a whole library of stuff you can bring in uh, that comes along with it. So, you, you know, trees, animals, um, items that you might find around the house, dinosaurs, got to say that's a pretty cool one. And another cool feature is that I can actually bring in an animated object. Um, and again, some of these are just preloaded in the libraries. So if I grab this T-Rex, because what other thing would I grab? Wait for that to load. There we go, we've got our T-Rex. I can grab that, scale it bigger, and I mean, look at that. It's, it is an animated model of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's running straight towards me in Microsoft Word. Now I'll grab him and um, you know maybe I'll, I'll orbit him. You can see I can orbit the model and he'll just keep running that animation. So you can kind of get some different perspectives on what's going on there. Um, there's buttons here I could reset him uh, so that he's back to the way he was when I got him. There's default uh, options up here so if I want to see a specific view without having to manually go to it I can see him from from that side or um, 
you know, from the top, say. So definitely some neat functionality here. The other cool thing is I could pause him and uh, stop him exactly in mid stride there. And then I could start him up again and stop him again. Um, some of these animated models even have different scenes, they call them. So if I click on scene five here, and he's doing something else. He's just kind of standing, sniffing around. Now, I have to admit, I don't exactly know what scenario you would need this in, but uh, got to say it's pretty cool. I can imagine if you're given a PowerPoint presentation, having an animated model imported could be kind of neat. Uh, you could have it, you know, doing something on the screen or uh, just illustrating some kind of point. So that does bring me to the next point, though. The last thing I want to show off is that in a real work environment, you're not likely to need any of these preset things. You know, you're not going to have a real use for them. It's not very often you're working with dinosaurs, but it is pretty easy to bring in your own 3D models that you've created. So as an example, here is Blender, and this is a 3D model of a warehouse that I've created. And I've got a uh, UV texture map over here on the left side. And I was able to export this as an OBJ. Um, took just a little bit of testing to figure out how to do it. And I can bring that into the model here. I just go back to my Insert tab, and I choose from a file. And if I go to here and I grab this um, three warehouse one testing, I can drag that model in and there it is, that same warehouse model that I had in Blender. And same as any other model, I can grab it or reposition the view. Um, you can see my textures came through. So yeah, pretty easy to bring in uh, something like this that maybe you've created yourself. So, you know, maybe imagine that you need to send somebody a document showing a design that you're working on or um, creating a pamphlet to distribute that shows how something you're making works or what it can do or what it looks like. Uh, this is a pretty neat way to be able to streamline that process. It'll allow you to import a 3D model into Office and work with it there instead of maybe you know writing your document and then for every picture that you need going back to the source 3d model material and exporting or rendering an image uh, separately you can just bring it all in here and work with it as you're going uh, nice and conveniently just to kind of illustrate that point look how easy it is for me to create kind of a standard uh, detail sheet i'll shrink these up a little bit here and i'll set this to a top view I'll copy this and do a side view. And I'll copy it again and I will do a front view. So there you go. Uh, super easy to create some uh, interesting new types of documents using this feature. I didn't have to import a second model or anything or a second image. It would be. Um, you know, currently before this feature. To get this done, I just import the one 3D model and uh, copy the viewport around and, and I've got something pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, just wanted to show that off because it impressed me. Have a good one.